Hey guys welcome to sunny bermuda today i'm gonna really rough up my yard i've been on two vacations and really ne neglected it as you can see by the brown and seeing it's getting kind of getting kind of stalky here too much brown showing through so i just did yeah, i just scarified it as you can tell by all the <laughs> stolons sticking up i need a verticut kind of get rid of these but i just scarified it and then i'm gonna come through and i'm gonna do a, a mild scap on it just a rough cut take it down some and then if the weather permitting I plan to aerate and then come back scarify it again and see how it looks first pass I got this much debris out of the yard yeah I've really neglected this season but what can you do we don't have time but stay tuned hope you enjoy the show Right, guys i barely got a the scalp in before the storm hit so we're gonna wait for it to blow over i just like that little spot at the very top usually these afternoon thunderstorms will blow over and the sun will come back out and and dry up everything pretty fast so well it's good that we get these rains every evening because it'll help the grass bounce back so let's just wait i hear some thunder in the background Okay guys, it's been roughly three weeks since I've scalped or scarified and scalped it. I wanted to do an air core aeration, a mechanical core aeration immediately afterwards, but I kid you not, it has rained what, every day since June the 1st. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty wild. But I come home from work and it'd be raining. Weekends, I do my other chores, get a mow in, and it'd start raining. But anyway, that's beside the point. So today we're gonna go ahead and do the core aeration get it done in the front yard here and then come back and scarify pick up all the cores and everything and also get up any thatch that's in the yard and we and then i'll put down some products some soil conditioner and some fertilizer
I've got the entire front yard and the backyard aerated and now it's time to clean up all these plugs as you can see it pulled out some good plugs it's looking pretty good on the soil level it's really getting brown the top from the soil treatments I've done okay my favorite product to clean up the cores is of course the scarifier cartridge it will clean up all the dirt all the loose grass and all the debris in the yard so I've got roughly 8,000 square feet the idea between the front yard and the backyard so let's get to work Okay guys, I just finished aerating the yard. Then I came back with the scarifier cartridge and I ran this way with the scarifier cartridge to really clean it up, clean up all the cores, got all the cores cleaned up. Did a pretty good job. I only scarified on one, uh, setting one. And as you can see, there's a little bit of debris left in the yard. This right here. But I'm gonna come back and do, I'm not done yet. So what I'm gonna do is come back with the verticutter and come back and verticut these, see these? little runners that are hanging out all of the yard there's some here you can also see the holes that's really good so that's gonna be perfect when I put down my I put down some uh, soil conditioner and also some fertilizer while the rains come in Monday I'm a bit delirious right now I may take a break uh, it's 98 degrees 100% humidity so it is it's suffocating here <laughs> but we hang in there as long as the old Alec can hang in there I can hang in there so we're gonna try and finish this up today do a verticut. I'll probably verticut this way as well. And then I'm gonna come back and drop it down to one and do a scarify. And we'll scarify this way. And then if times for being, hadn't started raining yet, then I'll come in and I'll do a clean mow. And it'll really look good. And then come next week, it's gonna be popping after I put in all the other soil conditioner and fertilizer. Okay guys, I got my verticut cartridge on. See right here. And I've got it set on two which is three-fourths of an inch, which is the level I cut the yard at with my real, real blade. And also I put my, whenever I scarify or verticut, I make sure this turf, turf rake here is at its highest position. You really don't need that when you're not real mowing. So we're gonna go over the yard. May go over it once, I mean twice. Just depends on how it looks and how much time I have left. So let me get to verticutting. All right, I just completed a verticut going this way. I guess it was east and west. I completed a verticut, and again, it was a very, very mild verticut. I didn't go down into the turf too far, and I also definitely did not get down into the dirt, especially with it being the 1st of August and extremely high temperatures and heat here in central Alabama. But I'll show you 
what I did pick up. This did come out from the mild vertical cutting. It pulled a lot of basically dead debris out as well, similar to the scare fire, but actually got down and cut the stole lines. So, well, my battery's about to, it's getting pretty low. So instead of showing you doing the backyard as well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the backyard and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna scare fire this way off camera. And then I may, if I got enough juice in my battery left, I may video me, you know, just mowing the front yard with my, I'll probably do my six blade reel and hopefully it will look really good. And then after that, I'm gonna throw down some, you'll see what fertilizer and stuff I'm gonna throw down after that as well. Thought I'd show you what I deal with every day. Definitely not complaining. Somebody, someone who doesn't have an irrigation system, I love it. it it's been raining every day since June the 1st. Today is July 31st, actually tomorrow's August 1st. So I did get my last scarify in, but before I could come back and real mow it and really polish it up, it you know it started raining. And according to the radar, this wall probably won't last maybe 15 to 20 minutes. So once it finishes and dries up, I should be able to get my mow in today and then apply my products. Just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> I love it though. When it starts raining like this, what do you do? You shed your clothes, put your swimsuit on, and head back here to, to the pool. Just finished this walkway this spring. Got my garden down there. And now I'm about to jump in the pool and cool off. Got my little shower here. Good times. Okay guys, it's starting to rain on me again. You can see the clouds up here. Do a quick recap on everything I've done this weekend. On Saturday I did a manual core aeration. And then I went back with my Allen Scarifier cartridge. Got up all the cores. Then I put my Vertucut uh, cartridge on. Vertucut the yard. Also, I did all this to the backyard too. Then I came back with the Scarifier and went this way and lowered the Scarifier almost to the S setting. Lowered it to 0.5 and did a Scarify this way really deep. Then I came back today because it started raining on me and got me a good real mow in. I mowed it at three quarters of an inch. I think my kids told me, oh, it looked greener before. You started all this and I thought, trust the process. And also put down some soil conditioner. I had some humid char left over right here. I think I put down either 10 to 20 pounds of it. And then I put down, I found this at my local ag center. This is the first time I've ever used this. But this is the professional grade. It's really small pill size. I put this whole bag down on the front yard and then on the backyard, of course, I put down my favorite green tracks and it's the 1804. They reformulated it this year. I'll probably do a video coming up on the difference from last year and this year because I do have a video up of my the best fertilizer for Bermuda lawns. I'll put a link to it up here. It was from last year, but yeah, put that down. So guys, I appreciate you watching through this undoubtedly a long video because I really did a lot. I didn't film the real mowing or the uh, last scarification because I think <laughs> I've done enough. Batteries ran dry on me, but guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that little subscribe down here. Leave me a comment, let me know, let me know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one.